Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Rancid fish oil, is it a problem? The short answer is yes. How do we measure oxidation in fish oil? And what are some of the values that we can look at, as well as some of the products that have very low oxidation? So let's get right into it. Fish oil is susceptible to oxidation due to its highly unsaturated structure, okay? When you have a lot of oxidation of the fish oil, you're going to get a fishy smell and taste. And with increased oxidation, you'll have a decrease in the active ingredient, which is EPA and DHA. Also with oxidation, you're going to have, if you ingest it, you'll have indigestion, you'll have burping and diarrhea. Interestingly, these three symptoms are also related to issues with gallbladder where you can't digest fats appropriately. So what are the three measurements for oxidation in fish oil? One is called peroxide value or PV. Okay. The other one is P anisidine value, little p AV. And the other one is called total oxidation. Now total oxidation is basically two times PV plus PAV. Okay. That is the value of total oxidation. Now, there is a problem with a couple of these measurements. One, P anisidine is secondary oxidation and can be skewed by certain colors or, or flavorings used in the product. So this value may vary depending on what kind of colors are used or what kind of flavoring can be utilized. So this is better for like secondary oxidation. This is better used when you have raw material that you want to check. Now, total oxidation will also be skewed because this value right in here will impact this number. So the best measurement really is peroxide value for fish oil, okay? So PV is the only validated method to measure primary oxidation in a finished product. Okay. So there's a company that I utilize called Fullscript and they tested 30 brands that they sell on their website. Okay. Now, when you have a PV value between 30 and 40 MEQ per kilogram of the fish oil, you're gonna get a rancid taste. Okay. So Fullscript tested 30 brands and out of the 30 brands that they tested, they all had a value less than 10. Again, you're going to get that rancid taste when you get 30 to 40. All 30 brands were below 10. Okay? Now, that is the standard utilized by this testing company uh, for most industry standards. Of the 22 out of the 30 brands, they actually had a MEQ kilogram of less than 5, which is really good. It's excellent. Okay? And that's more of a voluntary standard they're trying to keep. So some companies keep a, um, try to keep it under 10, and some companies will try uh, to have a voluntary score of less than 5. All right? Now, here are some 5 companies, and there are others that have less than 5, but I'm just going to list 5 of them here. Metagenics SPM Active has a PV value of 3.3. Designs for Health Omega Veil High Potency has 1.8. Vital Nutrient Ultra Pure Fish Oil has 3.8. Microbiome Labs Mega Marine has 3.6. And Pure Encapsulations 1 Omega has 1.7. Again, anything under 5 is an excellent product. I just listed 5 here that have values below 4. So if you want a quality fish oil or you're concerned about uh, the oxidation or the rancid uh, properties of fish oil, you definitely want to go with the company that's reputable and they test or third party test their products to make sure it's not rancid. Okay. My name is Dr. Jin Sung where clinical excellence meets excellent results and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.